plant accelerator is a 4,500 square metre custom built plant research and analysis facility located at the Waite campus of the University of Adelaide in South Australia. As headquarters of the Australian Plant Phenomics Facility, the Plant Accelerator is available to Australian and international plant scientists undertaking public good or for-profit research projects. The building includes research laboratories, work areas for potting and seed handling, growth rooms and greenhouses of various sizes. The cladding material used in the greenhouse is plexiglass. This clear, weather-resistant material transmits the entire spectrum of UV light, ensuring that the internal light conditions in the greenhouse are as close as possible to those in the field. Pink floors were chosen as they provide the highest ratio of far red to red light. This ratio is detected by plants to sense the presence of other plants in their vicinity, again providing a light environment with properties as similar as possible to those in the field. Climate control in greenhouses is supplied by evaporative cooling and or refrigerated air conditioning. Changes in temperature can be pre-programmed to reflect external conditions such as cool nights, moderate mornings, hot afternoons. All greenhouses are fitted with thermal shades to reduce day heat loads and night heat loss. And some areas have been fitted with total blockout screens enabling day length to be shortened. A building management system is used to program, adjust and monitor environmental controls such as heating, cooling, humidity. And the opening and closing of the shades and roof vents in the building's PC2 and non-PC2 greenhouses. 99% of the rainwater that falls onto the building's roof area is collected and stored in four rainwater tanks that have a storage capacity of about 300,000 litres. The water is filtered and UV sterilised before being pumped through the building for use. Wastewater from air conditioning units and cooling towers is collected and treated to achieve a level suitable for reuse in the system. The plant accelerator has four climate controlled rooms known as smart houses. Each smart house is fitted with an automated conveyor system that holds 600 carts, each identified with a radio transmitting RFID chip. Potted plants are placed in the carts and information about each plant and its location in the smart house is captured in a database. Automated watering of the individual plant to measure or weight can be programmed by the system. The smart houses in the plant accelerator also contain an automated spraying station to allow application of chemicals such as pesticides to plants in an enclosed chamber. The conveyor system from the smart house delivers plants to an imaging hall. Individual plants are transported on the conveyor from the smart house to imaging stations that have been supplied by Lemnatech. There are five imaging stations to capture different information. The far infrared cameras provide information about a plant's leaf temperature, whilst near infrared cameras measure the water content in the leaf and in the soil. Visible light cameras help quantify the plant's shoot mass, leaf number, shape, angle and other morphometric data, leaf colour and leaf senescence. Fluorescence imaging provides information on plant health from chlorophyll fluorescence and can also be used for visualising GFP. Genetics and genomics are giving us amazing abilities to measure genomes and to manipulate those genomes. However, our ability to measure the effects of those manipulations on genomes, on whole plant growth and function, is lagging behind. What we need to do is use technologies such as remote sensing, imaging processing and computing power to relieve what we term the phenotyping bottleneck, to increase the speed of our abilities to measure plant phenotypes. The Australian Plant Phenomics Facilities aims to gather together those technologies and to phenotype populations of plants, large populations of plants, so we can try to improve our ability to study the genetics of plant growth and plant function. The photos of plants taken in the Plant Accelerator's imaging hall are converted into numbers, which are then processed using computer algorithms that convert pixels into quantitative measures of size, shape, colour, orientation, temperature, water use, chlorophyll content and much more. As imaging is non-destructive, 
it is possible to track changes in these measurements through time and to determine time-dependent measurements such as growth rates and water use efficiency. For example, images taken over a certain period of plant growth can provide information about the characteristics of a plant during its development. Significant computing power is required for the storage and analysis of the data. The facility has a dedicated server room containing nine computational server nodes. Academic and commercial plant scientists undertaking public good or for-profit research projects are encouraged to use this new state-of-the-art facility. The Plant Accelerator offers expertise and scale to advance the diversity of research programs. We have an excellent team in place to provide a sustainable, professional operation of this complex new facility. And our team is dedicated to assist in the design of research projects in plant genomics and we look forward to discussing the ways in which the Plant Accelerator can enhance your research.